I see how this works. They keep all the old guys up past their bedtime. <laughs> now, I've invited a lot of friends here tonight. Uh, some people from my favorite bar that I hang out at, and also some people from my church. And I really hope I don't say anything that offends any of the people from the bar. Because <laughs> I'm definitely going to offend the people from my church. <laughs> so sex is fun, but you got to keep it fresh. You know, you can't let it get stale. I found for me the best way to keep it fresh, having sex in public places. And my f one of my favorite places for public sex, carnivals. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Best blowjob I ever got? House of Mirrors. <laughs> no matter which direction I looked, I was getting blown 16 times. <laughs> but you do have to be careful at the carnival. That's also where I got the worst blowjob ever. Yeah, that was on the bumper cars. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have to elaborate on that. I think I saw a couple guys flinch back here. Did you guys draw straws for shotgun? No, I'm just kidding. They flipped a coin. <laughs> Actually, about the only place I like better than carnivals for public sex is amusement parks. And I'll, I'll tell you why. You often hear about people trying to have sex, like on an airplane, so they can say they joined the Mile High Club. I started a much better club at the amusement park. It's called the 100 Foot High Club, also called the Masturbated on the Roller Coaster Club. <laughs> Now, I've got some advice for the guys here tonight. If the next time you're at Six Flags and you think you might want to join this club, and after tonight you will, you want to make sure that you climax when you're going over the top of a very fast hill. And basically, in other words, you want to make sure you ejaculate when you're in negative G-forces. What I'm trying to say is, when you feel like you're coming out of your seat, that's when you should be coming in your seat because that's really the only way you're going to hit your target, your unsuspecting buddy you convinced to sit right behind you. <laughs> that's the best prank in the world. Uh, there's no better feeling than getting off the Texas Giant and seeing your buddy stumbling around because he can't see out of one eye. <laughs> Second piece of advice, you want to practice your distance control. Last time I renewed my membership, emphasis on the member, I overshot my buddy, and I hit this muscle head guy sitting behind him. Big mistake. That guy was pissed off. As soon as the ride stopped, he comes running up to me. He starts poking me in the chest, and he's like, hey, dude, man, what the hell's all this shit? I was pretty sure he was going to kick my ass. So I had to think really fast, you know, kind of trick the guy. So I said, hey, dude, man, that wasn't me. That's all part of the new ride experience. In fact, next week, they're going to rename the ride Spider-Man. Hey, he, he bought it. <laughs> All right, that's my time. I appreciate it. Thanks.